Hello? Hey. Nothing for nothing? It was a great fucking show tonight. I mean. Wow, man. It was fucking happening. It really was. And I got to say the N-word as many times as I wanted. It was so great. It was so fucking great. I feel very comfortable here in my new digs. And, um... It's great, man. You know, I got... I got double the space I had in my other place. And, um... You know, when I get to uh, fix everything, the computers and uh, the, the, the tape deck and replace it, it's going to be really awesome because then I'll be able to do a regular show with a regular schedule and um, that's going to be awesome. I think we're going to do a, a offbeat music show on Sunday twice a month about 4 o'clock and um, and do the Crazy Joe show from 7 to 9 on Tuesday but we're not doing it now you have to wait until we uh, set up a schedule you know I had my my good friend out there tell me what she thought of some of the people out there who I'm having a uh, sort of like a war with, war of words. And uh, we've been having this for about a year now, thanks to Matt Covington, who started the whole shit. If he would have been just a fucking halfway decent human being and help me out when I needed it and take the time or make an appointment. See, he likes to lie. He's one of the most pathetic liars I ever met. He's the one. That kept talking to me on text while he was doing the show. That's on him. That's not on me. Second, he could have made an appointment and uh, say, Joe, how about next week? Like normal people do. But no, he's not a normal guy. You know? He thinks everybody has to revolve around him. He's the 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 the, the almighty of broadcasting and that is far from the truth. He is the opposite. He is the most horrible of broadcasting. And, uh, I mean, he does have some smarts. I got to give it to the guy. But, um, I mean, for New Hampshire, he's brilliant. He could never survive five, less than, in radio here, five minutes I give him. He, he couldn't do it. They would hear that fucking stupid hillbilly accent of his and they say, get the fuck out of here. Who's this fucking guy? Anyway, there was a whole point to this. So, yeah, I'm comfortable in my new digs. We're going to have... Oh, uh, my friend, my female friend. I asked her how, how, you know, I really wasn't doing no show tonight. I just did the Chronicles and it, it turned into something special because, you see, this is the thing about me. I'm a special guy. And when I, even if I do a demo, not a real show, I always put that little extra, you know, something that these assholes don't know anything about. They don't know about that little extra, which why they're inferior to each other and they're inferior to broadcasting. She said, I, I, I can't mention name, but... She said how indecisive these people are. They it's like they don't know what they're gonna say next. They're like, uh 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 Why don't we just face it? These people suck at what they do. They're not good. But I also want to say before I run out of time, do you notice about Matt? You know, he'll do the stupid um video. Well, no, not that. He'll, he'll never post up, my stomach is not bothered, I gotta make some tacos, my, um, he'll never post up a real video about me and what I say, 
it, I mean, I guess he has, but yeah, I'm 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 R rated all the way, so. But it's mostly about him and his complaints and everything like that. I never really see a video of 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 just me. Well, that doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm getting away from these guys. I don't want to be bothered with them anymore. And that includes all of them. I just want to... I did a great fucking show tonight because I was loose. And uh, I felt that I accomplished a lot to get this fucking jerk off off my fucking back. And if he doesn't want to get off my back, he's just going to pay the consequences. And I'll go after him for fucking ever. I swear to God, I will fuck him up for the rest of his fucking life if I have to. I ain't backing down from nobody. And I've met so many fucking liberals. I, I got to go on face crap when my suspension is up and I got to join a Trump group. I don't want to talk politics with these guys. I just want to tell them that I'm a broadcaster. And I've been harassed by Matt Covington and Billy Bob, Brokeville, Brookdale, faggot, asshole, and just the rest of these guys. And maybe they'll get some feedback, you know, from the Trump people. And maybe they'll tell them to go fuck themselves and see how they like it. You know, see how they like being ganged up on. Because they like to gang up on me, but I bet you they couldn't fucking take it if somebody ganged up on them. Because that's what a bunch of fucking pussies these people are. They love to dish it out. I bet they can't take it. I've taken it. I didn't want to take it. And I have fought back. But when you're fighting against the mob. A gang oriented mentality out there. It's not easy. But I hold my own. Because I'm an army of one. Believe it or not. I don't take any shit. And they're, and these people are easy to fight back. They're just a bunch of fucking broke back hillbilly douchebags. A bunch of fucking farm fuckers. Believe me, nothing I can't handle. But I got friends out there. Don't think you scumbags think that I don't have friends. I got friends. And some of these friends you definitely don't want to bump into or meet. And I also have supportive friends and... And I'm going to have a lot more as soon as the show becomes more together where I can replace the stuff that I'm having technical problems with right now. <coughs> like I said, I think I'm dying. <coughs> I got a terrible cough. Could be asthma related. Oh, God. <sighs> well, I got it. I, didn't have, I had this really bad cough for months and then it just kind of like took off. You could ask the Jared in the slime bag show. They'll tell you. The severe cough I had. Then it went away for like months. And now it's back again. So I'm going to make something to eat. And I just want to say to go fuck yourselves. I don't want to be bothered with none of you. Uh, you're not doing me any fucking favors. You're just a bunch of douchebags. And a bunch of dickwads. And you're white trash. And I got to get myself a, a group of people that are going to attack you as much as you try to attack me. Okay? Let's even up the odds here. Because we know you're a bunch of fucking cowards. Chicken shit losers. <laughs>